Welcome to our channel. In this video, we are going to talk about the most wanted camping tents of 2021. So before starting, please like this video and subscribe to our channel for future updates. Camping tents are designed to provide a somewhat comfortable experience in the outdoors. They are spacious, user-friendly, and feature-rich. Many of these behemoths have enough space to put up cots or even chairs and a table for card games on a wet day. Even the cheapest tents on this list should be adequate for vehicle campers, who take a few trips each year throughout the summer months. However, it's worth investing in superior materials and inside space if you'll be using it. In harsher weather or for a more extended period. The top camping tents of 2021 are listed here. See our comparison table and buying tips below the pics for more background information. Number 7. Kelty Wireless 4, $180. Not everyone needs or wants to splurge for a massive six-person tent. And for smaller families or couples that like to sprawl out while camping, Kelty's Wireless 4 is a standout value. As with many of Kelty's designs, they've done a nice job balancing quality and price. The wireless is affordable at $180 but includes several upgrades compared to cheaper tents like the Coleman Skydome above and Sundome below. Namely, you get two doors and vestibules, both Coleman's only have one. Along with a full coverage rainfly for rainy and windy conditions, the Sundome's covers just the top. Kelty also uses more mesh in the construction, making it easier to keep cool in the summer heat. Throw in a decently roomy interior, 4 square. Featuring more than REI's Trail Hut 4, with a center ridge pole that stretches the walls up in a way, the REI lacks this. And you have one heck of a value. Number 6, REI Co-op Grand Hut 6, $349. REI understands the world of camping tents. The Grand Hut 6 is a brilliant example of their well-made, feature-rich, and economically priced designs. The open, cabin-like form and a tall peak height of 78 inches, which translates to remarkable livability even for more elevated persons, are two features we admire. The Grand Hut's price, at $349, undercuts most other comparable-sized, quality options below $100 or more, including the North Face Wawona, Marmot Limestone, MSR Habitude, and REI Zone Kingdom. It's also quick and easy to set up and take down because of its pre-bent poles and hub pole system. The Grand Hut is a well-crafted and cheaply priced solution from REI for everything. From car camping to beach vacations and music festivals. REI's Kingdom 6 was initially rated here, but the Grand Hut dethroned it for various reasons. The Grand Hut is 3 inches taller, has the same amount of floor surface, and has more excellent vestibule room. In addition to a $150 price difference, 38 square feet versus 29 for the Kingdom. However, the concavity in the fly above the entrance collects rain. It can dump water inside if you're not cautious, it's best to give it a shake before unzipping after a storm. And wind resistance is weak due to the vertical walls and simplistic X-shaped pole design. Both the Kingdom and Base Camp below use stronger, crisscrossing poles. It also has less storage and isn't compatible with the Kingdom's optional vestibule add-ons. However, no tent is perfect, and the Grand Hut's mesh-heavy construction. Spacious interior, and affordable price make it our top pick for 2021. A close second, with better weather protection. Number 5. REI Co-op Base Camp 6, $469. REI's Base Camp 6 is a step up in price from the Grand Hut and borrows architectural influences from mountaineering for a significant increase in weather worthiness. The walls aren't as vertical as the Grand Huts because of the dome shape and overlapping five-pole system. However, it's still straightforward to move around with it. And the reward is significantly superior resistance to severe gusts. It's rated for three-plus season use, meaning the tent can hold its own. The rest of the design is impressive, with a great mix of high-quality materials and features like two roof vents helpful organization, and even reflective accents to make the tent visible in the dark. The $469 base camp in REI's portfolio bridges the gap between the Grand Hut above, $349, and the Kingdom below, $499. It's by far the most weather-resistant of the lot, but it has less mesh than both of those tents and, despite having a similar floor area, feels notably smaller due to the lack of vertical walls. Finally, the Grand Hut is the best value. It has plenty of tents for most family campers. The base camp is best for those who plan to take their tent into relatively rough and rowdy weather. 
The Kingdom is the most luxurious and fully featured option for those looking for the ultimate home in the woods. Best Budget Camping Tent Number 4. Coleman $130 Coleman is nearly synonymous with low-cost camping equipment. So it's no surprise that their Skydome 6 is our top budget option this season. What strikes us as astonishing, though, is how contemporary this tent appears and feels. The Skydome is significantly more weather-worthy than Coleman's. Somewhat antiquated and cheap-feeling sundome below. With a full coverage rainfly, the sundome leaves most of the sides exposed. And prebent poles more vertical walls that open up the inside in an excellent manner. We also appreciate how the bars are pre-attached, which makes setup a breeze. And how the broad door and large vestibule add to the overall convenience. When comparing the two Coleman types, the Skydome has 15 square feet less floor space. But the pole above the structure and vertical walls go a long way toward enhancing livability. Both tents are around the same price on Amazon when riding. But we believe the upgraded Skydome is a better buy for individuals who go camping even a few weekends a year. Best crossover camping slash backpacking tent. Number 3. Marmot Tungsten 4P, $366. Most of the tents on this list are designed for car camping. Which means you won't be hauling them more than a few feet from your vehicle. However, if you want to go into the backcountry, a few crossover alternatives can do double duty. The Tungsten 4P from Marmot is an excellent example, for car camping. It can fit multiple sleeping pads side by side and has a peak height of 52 inches. Which is sufficient for sitting up, changing, or playing cards. Furthermore, the pole design stretches the walls nearly vertical at the bottom, giving the space a light and airy feel. The tungsten isn't light by any means, weighing just under 8.5 pounds. But it's ideal for camping and short backpacking trips. Especially if you can divvy up the carrying responsibilities. The Marmot Tungsten, like nearly other crossover tents, has its fair share of compromises. A specialized camping tent is significantly preferable in livable size and durability for Individuals who purely vehicle camp, the marmot uses thinner materials to cut weight. On the other hand, dedicated backpackers may prefer a lighter, more compressible design like Big Agnes Copper Spur, the 4P variant saves roughly 3 pounds, and packs down far better than the tungsten, but it costs a stunning $650. Marmot also offers two and three person variants of this tent for smaller families or couples, significantly reducing weight. Best of the rest. Number 2. The North Face Wawona 6, $450. The North Face can be hit or miss in the camping market, but their Wawona range is a winner. The most significant change for 2021 was to a hybrid double wall design. The previous generation had a less breathable single wall construction. The pole structure was retooled to make setup easier. The tunnel-like design, which is evocative of REI's Kingdom 6 below, provides a large amount of usable space including about three extra square feet of a floor surface and an additional five inches of peak height. All for $50 less, is available in four and six person capacities. And we adore the huge entrance entryway that easily doubles as a lounging area. The mud room, $100, must be purchased separately with the kingdom to attain the same versatility. When you add it all up, the Wawona is a fantastic deal. Despite the revised pole structure, we still found the Wawona a lengthy and laborious process to set up. To keep upright, the vestibule needs to be guide out firmly. And the peculiar pole system took some time to get taut and secure. On the plus side, the hybrid double wall construction vents are far better than a single wall tent like the Nemo wagon top below, and it's less likely to collect moisture in humid or wet weather. The rainfly, which does not cover the lowest section of the tent, and the all mesh door, which can cause considerable heat loss and drafts in the cold, are the final nitpicks. However, there's a lot to enjoy in terms of livability and features. Smaller families should consider the North Face's Sequoia 4, which is around $50 more expensive than the Wawona 4 but has an extra door and is 7 inches taller. Number 1. REI Co-op Kingdom 6, $499. The Grand Hut 6 from REI has a superior price to roominess ratio. But their Kingdom 6 is legendary and has the most features. Near vertical walls, enough netting for ventilation and stargazing. And a tunnel-like design provide excellent livability in this luxurious tent. In addition, the six-person version is ideal for families and bigger groups. There's plenty of room to stretch out. The large vestibule and inner pockets help keep things organized. A center divider separates sleeping and daytime areas. 
True, the Kingdom is priced at $499, but it's less expensive than competitors like Marmot's Limestone. And MSR's Habitude without sacrificing material quality or longevity. One thing to remember about the Kingdom is that one of the doors isn't entirely covered by the rainfly. You can keep it as is or add the Kingdom Mud Room, $100, or Kingdom Porch, $199. The mud room is the more practical choice, adding 50 square feet of storage space. But increasing the tent's already significant footprint by 103 inches. It's also worth noting that the kingdom's upright structure doesn't stand out in bad weather. So using all of the guy lines to improve protection in a storm is a good idea. Finally, even when properly closed, the fly vents can allow water in during heavy rain. As we recently experienced during an overnight deluge. So that's it for today. What do you think of our video? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video and would like to hear more from us, please subscribe to our channel and turn on notifications before you go. Thank you so much for watching us.